Do you make these nice guy mistakes? Okay, ready, pop quiz. Answer this question. So, you're out with a woman for the first time and you're having a cup of coffee with her. She looks at you square in the eyes and says, so, what kind of car do you drive? What's the best way to answer? A, I drive a 1976 Ford Pinto station wagon, yellow. Why, what do you drive? Said in an overly sarcastic tone, right? B, tell her what you really drive. C, say, can't you think of something more interesting to ask me than that? What is this, an interview? D, laugh and say, I don't drive. Actually, my mom gives me rides everywhere. The answer is C. When a woman asks you a routine question like this, it's the perfect opportunity for you to separate yourself from every other guy she's met. Many guys would take this as an opportunity to brag about what kind of car they have. Other guys might show a lack of confidence by acting apologetic about driving a car that's not hip or expensive. By throwing a sarcastic answer back at her, answers one and four, you show that you have a good sense of humor and you avoid coming off as an insecure guy who actually cares what she thinks. But with answer three, you can really take it to the next level by calling her on asking you routine and boring questions. Doing this clearly demonstrates a few things. One, it demonstrates that you don't seek approval or you're not trying to impress women. Two, it demonstrates you aren't impressed by material possessions and you subtly look down on her for judging people by them. Three, you date a lot of women and you don't have time for a woman who's anything less than exceptional. Most importantly, this subtly communicates that you are the selector and you're the one who's sizing her up and you're deciding if you're interested in pursuing the relationship. This type of communication shoots straight to the pulse of a woman's attraction mechanism and lets her know right away there's just something about you and she'll stop at nothing to find out more. Here's the thing, nice guys almost never give a woman that feeling. I know, because when I first took this same quiz years ago, I flat out failed every question. And although women always liked me, they never liked me in that way. And I almost never you know, got anything and always wound up in the friend zone. So how many of these little, subtle, nice guy mistakes do you make? Well, if you click the link below or in the description, I got a little quiz of questions just like this. So you can test how much nice guy you really are and also whether or not you're suffering from what I call nice guy syndrome that might be holding you back from the social, personal, and even the professional life that you want. Now the quiz is completely free and it only takes about five minutes to answer. And best of all, you'll immediately get all the answers and I'll break down each answer just like I did in this video. So go ahead, click the link below and take the nice guy quiz.